For more, we're joined by Jörg Rochol. He's an economist and he's the president of the European School of Management and Technology here in Berlin. Good to have you with us. Now, aside from this uh, language barrier that was mentioned in our report, what other obstacles are there? Why are highly skilled workers from abroad not coming to Germany? I think one main reason is that uh, also traditionally there have not been too many skilled uh, foreign labor um, participants in the German market. And this, of course, uh, brings then a certain pass with it. So this means if there has been none, uh, no one will follow. And I think this is a tradition that Germany now needs to build. And how? I mean, how can you make Germany more attractive to these people? Germany now has one uh, great opportunity, which is that uh, it's seen as a real um, anchor of stability in the economic crisis. Uh, German companies have a great reputation worldwide. So therefore, um, we need, just need to use the opportunity to make it attractive for foreigners to come here, to accommodate them um, and to actually make everything possible that they really feel at home here. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, uh, last year, migration uh, to Germany was at a record high. So obviously, a lot of people from cash-strapped euros so nations, a lot of high-skilled workers are coming to Germany, but that alone can't be the solution for our demographic problem, can it? Um, it is rather a short-term fix than, uh, than a real long-term solution. Um, we need to think about having a plan, um, a real plan about uh, how to attract um, gifted individuals uh, to Germany and uh, how to make them feel at home here, in particular also uh, making it possible for them uh, to really increase our prosperity, our economic welfare. Now, this incentive is uh, somewhat missing in the coalition agreement. Uh, the agreement has been uh, criticized for many other things as well by your uh, business colleagues as well. Uh, what's the biggest criticism that you have, if there is any? The main criticism is that there is not much foresight in uh, terms of uh, fiscal consolidation, also in terms of the retirement system, so uh, that it looks like uh, that too, mo too many promises are made without really thinking about who's going to pay for them. Okay, Jörg Rochel, don't go away. We'll be talking to you in just a moment.